Hello everyone. This is Sijas from Coding with Sijas and welcome back to another new video. This is the 17th video in the UFS series. So if you are watching the series for the first time, do click this link to access the entire playlist. That way, you can get to know what we have done until now and continue from there. And if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, do consider subscribing this channel. Without any further delay, let's jump to the next video. In the last video, we have seen how to create a simple calculator. We have explored on event and event handler and how to use both of them to achieve our intended result. In today's video, we will learn more about binding with the help of JSON model. So let's see what we can do today. So here I have my Visual Studio code opened. I'll press Command Shift P in Mac and in Windows you can use Control Shift P to open the application generator. Here I'll select SAP UFI Freestyle and create a simple UFI application. I'm not using any service today and I'm giving the view name as first. And the module name is magic with JSON model. We'll fill all the required properties here and click on finish. And this will create my application. As you can see, it's already created the folder magic with JSON model. So once the dependencies is installed, we'll just open that folder in the Visual Studio code. So if you haven't installed the Fury extension pack, kindly go to extension and search for Fury extension pack and install it. In one of the last video, I've already explained how to do it. Checking, as you can see here, the files have been generated. So I'll go to file and open the folder magic with JSON module. Perfect. We have the application open here. So I'm clicking on the control tilt symbol to open the terminal window. So here I can simply press type npm start which will start the application. So we have the application opened in the browser. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm not using my Chrome browser. I'm using the uh, browser which is called Chrome Canary. So this is an extension free uh, Chrome Canary which is not using any of my cache or anything. So you can also make use of this for doing your testing. So uh, I have opened the Magic with JSON model application here and let us go and edit uh, more of the application. So uh, first thing I do is I'll go to the controller, I'll go to the first controller and I'll import the JSON model. So SAP slash UI slash model slash JSON slash JSON model. I'm exporting it. JSON model is already exported here. I'll create an instance of a O mod, JSON model called O model. I'll just format it. So here we have the JSON model. Maybe I need another variable which I'll call it as our data. So O data is a simply an array, which is something which I pass it as a parameter for the JSON model. So once we have the JSON model, I'll set this as the uh, default model for my view. So uh, let me call it set model and O model. So we have the model set here. So you can see the application is automatically loading. I'll go to my view, go to the first view, and here you can see an empty content. So I'll add a new content here. I will create a VBOX here. So a VBOX. And VBOX contains items. Inside that I will have a panel. And panel will have a text. 
which will read a variable called uh, text now I have these much uh, things here so my panel is expandable expandable true and uh, obviously we are uh, giving it uh, yeah let, let's see this much so as you can see here uh, my V box I have a V box everything is there and we can see the content uh, there's nothing in it yet so what I'm planning to do is based on the uh, data in the O data it will uh, create more uh, items here the first thing I need to do is I need to bind the V box to the JSON model so the items so since I'm depending on the data in the model I'm just binding it as you can see now since there is no data in the uh, V box uh, you see or uh, there is no data in the JSON model the V box contains no panel so uh, before this let me create one more button so I'll create a button called uh, add more so button text equal to add more yeah so I'll get add more button here and below that I'll be having the V box so what does add more do add more will call a function uh, which will uh, add a new instance of uh, panel so uh, let me call this add more record this is the function so add more record is another function inside my controller so which basically uh, first thing you do is I need to get the instance of the model so this dot get view dot get model so I have got the instance of model and uh, until now I'm not doing anything so what I do is I create a var temp a data which is a uh, json object with i think the variable we have used is called text so text uh, equal to new record okay. now i need to push this into the o model so another thing i need to get is the data of o model which is o data equal to o model dot get data have the data here so i don't want to replace the data so since you know the data for data is an array i can use array dot push method to push my temp record so with this i'm complete with add more record let's test it it's already running click on add more let's put a debug point and let's go to sources so what we have done is we have got the instance of calling add more and to the add uh, data see it's already O data have one record once it is pushed O data have the two records so what was missing here is we have retrieved the data but we have not set the data back so what we all we need to do is O model dot the data and I'll push O data back to it so with this change let's see what is going to happen i'll remove the debug point click on add mode you can see there's a panel coming up with new record so anytime i click a new json object is added into the json model and that's being uh, created so uh, what next what we can do is uh, i'll create uh, i'll set this text as an input and let me give this as a value so now what is going to happen is when I click on add more I get a new record which is an input field so let's go to uh, panel and add a title so I think good so in the panel let's see whether we have any property we have a property called header text so I'll simply use uh, a header text binding to my JSON model so panel I'll use a text and uh, that can be something new record this something like this new record or let me keep take it from the model itself if 
the property called title. So title, text, two properties. You have to go here and do the same. So this is the title and text is a simply an empty field. So with this, when you press more, you have second title is over here. I have not saved it, so once I save it, it will be good. Perfect, new record, new record, new record. So all these things are over here. Now, uh, let me create another button after the VBOX or maybe just under it. And let me call it summarize. Let it call uh, summarize data which what I'm planning to do is it's something like uh, a button which is called uh, to get the data collect the data from the JSON model and show it in a dialogue so we have two buttons here one is add record another one is summarize so what does summarize do summarize simply uh, will show some dialogue so let me just get an instance of uh, First, let me create a summarize method. So, summarize data. So, summarize data is a function which should ideally create a dialog. So, let me instantiate few items. The SAP slash m slash dialog is the first thing. And apart from that, I need SAP dot m slash uh, table which is the responsive table so table sap.m.table is already imported then uh, maybe another one I wanted is something I need apart from that is a column list item so uh, column list item or maybe a standard list item would be sufficient because I'm not showing a table. So sap.m.list and uh, a standard list item. So I have these many objects here and maybe one more sap slash m slash text. I'm good. So let me clean it up. I mean auto suggestion is ruining everything. We just clean up everything properly and oh, unnecessary it has created a lot of objects so I think they are good here JSON model dialog list uh, standard list item and a text okay let's see we can we can remove it if something is not required for us so first thing we have to create an instance of a dialog so we'll just check whether O dialog is already created so any of course initially the dialog won't be there so what we do is uh, our dialog is not available so then we will create a new dialog so this dot o o dialog equal to new dialog yeah let's open the api api reference for the dialog so dialog usually have a content aggregation so inside content aggregation we need to add so here we have the content aggregation and the content aggregation we will be adding the uh, a list instead so here we'll add content so content when you're adding through uh, json javascript you have to ensure that content is an array because aggregation can take more than one items so here we add a list so a list again list will take items aggregation so aggregation again represented by an array inside that we have new standard list item right so let's take an example of standard list item so we have seen list first let's see list so in the list you have aggregation as items as i mentioned uh, items aggregation which is a default aggregation so under items i have placed a list item so list item base so anything which is expanding list item base can be placed here so if you see the subclasses we can see the standard list item over here so from the standard list item what we want to show is we want to show a property 
so uh, there is text title and description so we will use only title so title is this before binding let's uh, see what we can do here so this we are creating a simple dialog so dialog is already created so no semicolon obviously so with all these things the dialog is created so once we have an instance of dialog all we do is this dot o dialog dot open right so our application is refreshing so summarize summarize you click on summarize it's basically showing a list item without data the reason why it is not showing anything is uh, because we have not bound anything so first thing is we have a content aggregation but we are not completely depending on the aggregation data just like that we want to bind it to a json model so how do you do it via json model so that time this will not uh, become like this so instead we will just uh, take it off from here and that will become an array sorry that will become an object so first property to an object is the path so what is the path the path is nothing but the root to your data the next property what we have to use is called template so template is the same thing like uh, in the json model if you see here on the in the first view you have seen uh, we have a v box here we are giving items this is the path and anything you mention here is considered as template so this is how we represent the same thing in the json uh, javascript area so that you have to give a template a template is nothing but the new array so with this much let's see and refresh our application to so add more summarize so here nothing came again what is the reason because the dialog is not really a part of the view yet so how do you add it a part of the view that is simply by a method called this dot get view get view sorry get view dot add dependent okay and i'm adding this dialog as a dependent to the view so that by which the view will be able to access the uh, or the dialog will be able to access the content of the get view so let me see with it and obviously there is some mistake you can always go and correct it so we have our console here let me switch to console get it add more add more i have three records i click on summarize and you can see we have four items here so what is missing the binding so we just need to mention the text right now let me click add more add more add more i have four and data one i'll fill the second one as data two third one as data three fourth one as data four i need one more so i click on add more i got a fifth one i'll call this data five now with this let me go and click on summarize and you can see all the data is summarized so this is the magic of the binding and a json model is something by default instantiated with a two way binding so any change i make in the json model is immediately saved in the json model and we are able to retrieve it into the uh, uh, into the dialog so that's it for today so today we have seen how to create a simple uh, binding using json model and how magically everything gets fit in together I'll be pushing this code into the uh, into the Git repository. I'll be giving the link uh, to the Git repository in the description. So if you have any further questions, uh, do comment. Also, if you have not subscribed this channel yet, do subscribe the channel. Thank you, folks. See you in the next video.